Hello and welcome to Fashion Report Friday, the weekly video series trying to get you the absolute most MGP possible from the Fashion Report minigame located inside the Gold Saucer every Friday when judging begins. This is week 179 and this time the theme is painting light. The clues include uh, chapeau de choice for your helm, doublet the fun for your body, small folk for your legs, and tip arriar hat for your boots. In this video, we have a 100 score, a 80 with dies, and then the easiest 80 that we could come up with. So, without further ado, let's rock onto that 100 score. For 100, then, I went for the white beret. This is something you can craft with your weaver, fairly basic. I wouldn't really buy this from the market board. People are undercutting and going crazy with this today. And uh, I've seen prices up to over 100,000. It is very easy to make. And uh, I would advise you get the mats, either craft it yourself or find one of your FC mates or friends to craft it for you. Alternatives to this slot do include the velveteen beret, um, the woolen beret, and the felt beret, as far as I know so far. And I cannot confirm any others would work. For the chess piece then, I went for the Amateur's Doublet Vest. This is something you can get from low-level city-state armor vendors such as Gwalta in the steps of Fall of Uldar over here. And uh, basically this is from the Disciple of Hand and Land tab, levels 1 to 9 bracket. This will cost you 300 and eight gil, quite an affordable thing indeed. And this is usable by all jobs in the game or classes in the game everybody and every gender which is quite nice to have and as a result of that i don't really think there's a need for many other alternatives but the amateurs doublet will work alongside the initiates doublet and the frayed cotton doublet as far as i know there are many other doublets that would probably work as well but i cannot confirm their existence working because well why wouldn't you just go for the lowest level one that's cheapest so, for the legs then, I went for the Oasis Sarawell. This is something you can get from the Gold Saucer itself for 1000 MGP. This is obviously spending MGP to get MGP, so uh, you can knock that off your total that you get from the uh, fashion report this week if you've not got these. Uh, others that would probably work include the Riviera Slops, the Glade Slops, the Oasis Half Trues, and of course, uh, this Oasis Sarawell. So those are all MGP anyway, and I don't believe there's any alternatives for the legs that are going to be outside of the Gold Saucer, so you might just have to pony up the 1000 MGP and get it done. For the boots then, I went for the Arhat uh, Kayahan of Healing. Sorry, that's quite hard for me to pronounce. These are boots that drop in the Alamigo or Kagane Castle, or Temple of the Fist dungeons, um, which are all Stormblood-related dungeons. Um, there really isn't any other way around that, because this is a specifically named boot. So you're going to need to go and do either Alamigo, Kagane Castle, and the Temple of Fist. But you can have the Arhat Kayahan of any uh, particular role. I went for the healing ones, because funnily enough, I already had some, so I saved myself a journey today by having some in my retainer, which is just another tip for you. If you're doing Fashion Report regularly and you do Stormblood content, loot it all, never sell it, and store it in your retainers if you can. There we go, and that's my top tip. But that's the 100 score. Not too bad, but there are some parts of that, especially the White Beret. If you can't craft that, you're going to be ponying up a lot of money, MGP costs, and a dungeon run. So it's not the best thing in the universe. But let's move on to an 80 just with die options on any gear in the game that's dieable. So make sure you have something equipped in every single slot. That's the most important thing. People always say, yeah, I did this and it didn't work. Well, pay attention. Fill every slot of gear. So your weapon needs to be cherry pink for best in slot die. Your helm needs to be cherry pink. Your body metallic gold. Your hands turquoise green. Your legs void blue. And your feet jet black dye. Uh, if you follow that precisely with uh, every single slot of your gear actually filled with something, then you're guaranteed an 80 at least with those die options and that combination, which is pretty good in my personal opinion. 
All right then, so for the easiest 80 possible, this is the sort of thing that I had to set up. This is our 80 score. We have ourselves the, obviously, the amateur's doublet vest because it's equipable by basically everything in the game level 9 or above. So uh, that's pretty good for both genders from that vendor, obviously Gwalter, as we mentioned earlier. And uh, basically then what we've done is just use two dies that we, you would use from the die options because they're fairly easy to get a hold of. We've got turquoise green, which is on the market board for basically nothing at this point. And uh, you can actually get that from a um, from a vendor as well, the self vendor, but they're really relatively easy to get a hold of. And then we've got the, um, the void blue there, which originally drops in a fractal continuum, but also can be crafted as well it's one of those crafted dies with any of the crafters in the game so actually fairly easy to get a hold of as well so those two dies just you know turquoise green on your gloves a bit of void blue on your legs and then that chess piece makes this basically an 80 that that's accessible by any job and any class and any race no matter what level you are as long as you're above level 9 so I think this is probably the best solution I could have gone for there are obviously bits I could have included I could have gone for the white beret and just this chess piece that could have worked very easily and if you have access to that then obviously mixing and matching from that 100 score is going to get you an 80 regardless but I tried to think of something that could actually maximize the potential out to other people and this is what I came up with personally but uh, for other things that you might suggest maybe other things that you think are even easier let me know in the comment section below that's what this is all about it's a community effort speaking of which thank you so much for watching this video this week hopefully you've enjoyed fashion report hopefully you get something decent from your mgp make sure you put your fc company buffs on or your uh, your grand company buffs if you've got those from squadrons those will get you about 70,000 MGP or a 60,000 base if you don't have any of those. Highly recommended. I'm up to about 6 million MGP total so far. Uh, and I've spent a lot as well on the way to get all the mounts. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Link in the description to the Reddit thread as usual. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.